So guys, Elon Musk and his Starlink internet service soon to be available in Somalia. It says here the agreement has been finalized and signed off between the Ministry of Technology and Mr. Elon Musk's representatives that will grant them a nationwide license to operate in Somalia. Interesting. Uh, before we discuss it, let's see what the Minister of Technology had to say. So currently operating in over 140 countries with Somalia being the 21st in Africa. Interesting. So what is Starlink? It's an internet service provider run by Elon Musk. Uh, it uses a network of satellites to deliver high speed, low latency internet connectivity, especially in remote or undeserved areas. So I'm guessing now the people in the Badia should have access to the internet. Maybe, maybe not. But in terms of the pricing, uh, if we base it off other countries in the region, uh, how it's going to work is you're looking at about 200 to $600 just for the kit to be installed. And once it's installed, obviously depending on which program you go for, it's 200 or 600 to install it. And then followed by 30 to $50 per month, depending on which service you opt for. Now I'm assuming Elon Musk is a smart guy. He's done his research. To me, 30 to $50 in Somalia seems a very competitive price. In terms of when they get to the country, how they operate, it's not quite clear just yet. We'll have to wait for the Somali government to comment on that. Will they come themselves and, and train the local people um, and generate jobs, helping the economy? Not quite sure. I'm seeing a lot of people putting down the local internet providers, saying their internet is slow and whatnot. However, guys, um, Companies like Hormud, Golis, Telesom, Sogasho. Let's not forget, you know, the Horn of Africa has been going through conflict for a long time. And if it wasn't for these guys, you know, we wouldn't be able to call our loved ones back home or send money and, and, and so forth. Regarding whether or not it would be good for the economy or not, I'd love to hear the local opinion. Only time will tell and we'll have to wait.